Hi, my name is Eric Wolf, and I'm a graduate student at the University of Colorado. Uh, my research involves modeling of extreme climates on the Earth using general circulation models in three dimensions. So this past July, I had a paper published on investigating the faint young sun paradox. The faint young sun paradox asks the question, why was the early Earth warm despite the fact that the sun was much less luminous than today? So what I've done is I've used Janus to use three-dimensional general circulation models like we use for modern day climate change, except I was looking at the very ancient climate. And what I found was that when we consider the faint young sun paradox in three dimensions with an advanced climate model, the paradox, it kind of goes away. We do need more carbon dioxide to keep the early Earth warm, but it is well within the limits on carbon dioxide of which geologists have found and dug around in the rocks and they've found a limit on how much carbon dioxide we need and we're well within that limit and we can keep the early Earth warm. I've modeled the very ancient Earth and I'm also in the process of modeling the future Earth, what it might look like in a billion years from now and also billions of years in the past. Janus really makes my work possible because running climate simulations is extremely computationally expensive. We need a lot of computer power and that's what Janus offers me and the community at the University of Colorado.